Welcome back to Safe Point City. We're gonna check on Toko, cause she, she crazy. <laughs> She's saying a bunch of weird stuff as I'm, if she wasn't before. It's, I well, remember when I lost my mind. May as well <laughs> give it a shot. I remember when. Yeah. <laughs> the door swung open slowly and silently. Oh man, there's something so special about this place. She's so pretty. Anyway. Da, da, da. Oh, holy crap. An aura of negativity flowed out of the, out from behind the door, forcing a gasp out of me. What? Oh, uh, no, oh um, nothing. It's just, it's just that Hina was really worried about you, holding yourself up in your room. Leave me al alone. Um, yeah, sure, um, yeah, sure thing, but sure. could you open up just for a second? Won't allow it. Huh? I won't, won't let Genocide Jack have control. And just like that, she slammed the door in my face. What was that? She's been acting like that the whole time. When I rang a little while ago. No, now I'm sepia tone. God damn it. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I'll dri drive out the killer. Drive out the murderous fiend. Um... It doesn't make any sense, right? I was afraid to leave her in there alone, so I tried to bust down her door. But it felt like something was holding it shut on the other side. I couldn't even budge it. Toko was scared enough to even bar her door? Does she think the same thing as Byakuya? Does she think the serial killer genocide Jack really murdered Chihiro? Is that why Toko's so scared? But... No. <laughs> Whatever it is, I'm really worried about her. Isn't there anyone who might be able to persuade her? She's not friends with anyone! The only person she's kind of talked to is me! <clears throat> hmm? Who does she have a crush on? Hey! Bitch! <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey, Byakuya! I love that! Wait a minute! <laughs> I know why you're here now! <laughs> hey, Byakuya, you think you can ask her? To come out of her room, I mean. Ah, uh, sure, whatever. <laughs> oh, fuck. Huh? You're gonna talk to her, Byakuya? Wow, I guess you can be nice when you want to. Byakuya <laughs> <laughs> uh... stood in front, of, in front of her door, not making a sound, and pressed the doorbell. After a few moments... What do you want? Leave me alone, you're so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Black <laughs> It's Viakia. Or it's it, 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 that it's was fine. Me, I just did. Line. I'm so sorry. It's fine. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I couldn't keep our promise. But d don't worry. Never again. I I won't let Genocide Jack have control ever again. And with that, the door slammed shut. Even Byakuya couldn't pull it off. There's nothing else we can do. Let's get back to the investigation. H hold on. Hey, like Byakuya. What was Toko talking about just now? Something about a promise? Oh, I have no idea. Another one of her delusions, I'm sure. But, but... If I say I don't know, that means I don't know. Just let Hina take care of it. Uh, oh. Oh, yeah, okay. I'll stay here and keep an eye on her. Let's go. Well then, let's go. Without waiting for a reply, Byakuya sped away. 
been dragging Yakia. on the leash the whole time. <laughs> I hurry to catch up. I try to talk to him several times as he as we walked, but he didn't even look back, let alone say anything. Just kept walking on towards his destination. Finally, his feet brought him to a stop in front of a certain room. The library? Come on, let's go in. Yeah. Um, is the evidence that proves it was Genocide Jack really in the library? Don't make me repeat myself. Don't make me say it again. Can he stop being a cryptic motherfucker and just tell me? No. No, of course he can't. <sighs> <sighs> Whatever. I didn't mean to click that. <laughs> no point checking there. I got another coins. Fuck you. I... I don't know what you want from me. I don't know what you want from me! <laughs> Guess. <laughs> oh, that's the reason you got us alone, huh? No. no <laughs> I I no clues, tricks of worlds. Looking for a partner. If I remember, on the other side of this door, it's the archive, right? Hurry up and go inside. Oh, here? It'll all make sense once you're inside. <sighs> Whoa, there's so many books and files. And so much dust, too. This is an archive of my own. I would say this. <laughs> no, <enough>. no. <laughs> It'd be a I lot say... bigger. <laughs> <laughs> So much dust. This one says Snape X James. Don't, don't read that one. Don't. I, I, I was young and a fool. I filled the entire library with my amazing works of art. I would say there's enough value in this place to endure the dust. Oh, okay. If you pay attention to your surroundings, you'll sure to discover that value for yourself. Maybe you put your phone down for a second and live in the moment, you wouldn't, you know. Oh my god. <laughs> that is a horrible pool. Oh my god. Boomer <laughs> Biakria, no. There's a ton of thick files stuffed into the bookshelf. If you're thinking of looking through any of them, let me give you a little warning. Those things are filled with graphic and disturbing photos from all kinds of crime scenes. It's the kind of thing any normal person would ever want to look at, so be careful. Huh? What do you mean? All those files are the investigation reports related to different cold cases. Those are internal documents for police eyes only. They're not the kind of thing you'd expect to leak. Oh. Okay. Yeah. That's enough. Those documents are dangerous. Dangerous. Uh. <laughs> they detail all the people who control the world from behind the scenes. Dangerous truth for a commoner. You mean like members of the diet or something? I don't no, know. I mean this just, uh, d you know, like, like a diet. Mm -hmm. You know, so diet. No, I mean the ones with real power, the secret council controlling everything from the shadows. If you're ready to be disappeared for it, take a look. There's some very interesting people in there. It's the Illuminati. <laughs> you're just kidding, right? Am I... I'll just let it go for now. There's a wooden box. It's empty. Although, judging by its smudges and the dust, it looks like there was something inside. I wonder what it was. 
There was an extension cord plugged in there. It proved very useful while I was in the library. An extension cord, huh? Oh, okay. This is weird bonding time with Biakia. I know I wanted to talk to him, but not like this. <laughs> not like this. The shelf is stuffed tight with files. Without thinking about it, I picked one up at random. I have a sharp eye indeed to select that file. Huh? That's, right. That's the report on the presidential assassination. The original is kept at the National Library. It won't be declassified for another 30 years. Are you sure you want to look at it now? It, you know what? It was declassified recently. <laughs> There's no telling That's... who's cross... Yeah. Oof. 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 There's no telling whose crosshairs you might end up... Uh, wind up for peeking at it. Hmm. Without making a sound, I return to the file shelf. Wait. Wait. I don't know. This is like, there's just shit everywhere. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> and we went right through that one. Is there like a specific one at all that you want me to look at, asshole? Or I know, can you fucking point me in the right direction, sir? Yeah. It's like, no, not at all. Not gonna do that whatsoever. Yeah. That's it. Nope. There we go. Huh? It's a disc lamp. <laughs> the lamp! <laughs> I don't know. Uh, oh, yeah. The genie! <laughs> it's the same one I saw Byakuya using in the library before. What? Do you have a problem with that lamp? <laughs> Why are you looking at that lamp? It was here before when I moved it over there. I, I don't understand why you're staring so intently. It's too dark over there, so I thought I'd put it to good use. Hmm. So it, we finally begin to understand the true splendor of this library. The entire reason I was interested in the library is because of this room right here. The splendor. This desk lamp. Oh, it's here. To, it's home to classified government documents, police records, things no ordinary person would ever see, and a magical genie lamp! Isn't it magnificent? Well, Nate, isn't it? Oh, I didn't realize you <laughs> Yeah, I know, I said my line, I don't know. Uh, I'm freaking... I'm <laughs> this can't be for real, right? That's your guys' problem. Anything that doesn't fit into your preconceived reality, you label it a lie. Well, it's not that, it's just... It's not like I totally refuse to believe it, but... I mean, there's just so much. How could anyone have put all this together? I read that as munch, like he's chewing on like... Uh, there's so munch! <laughs> there's just so... Mmm... Sandwich. Anyway... Mmm, sandwiches! <laughs> I I suppose it's I want a sandwich. I suppose it goes to show just how much Hope's Peak truly wields. Perhaps the mastermind may have wanted to provide us with enough entertainment to, to entertainment to keep us from getting bored. Uh, um It's no use. I can't keep up with all this. It's just too unreal. What's wrong? Still can't believe it. What about you? How can you believe it so easily? Things like that are usually impossible. What do you mean, usually? Usual, normal, ordinary, simple. Those things don't exist anywhere in the real world. If you don't understand what they actually represent, you don't understand the nature of anything. He's such a dramatic bitch. <laughs> yeah. You don't pull your punches, do you? Besides, Who what you consider- Who fucking talk, Makoto? <laughs> Besides, what you consider usual is based on your common sense, right? What makes- what- but what makes you think uh, your own common sense applies to me at all? 
The documents gathered here are genuine. I have reviewed them multiple times, so there's no doubt. Hold on a second. You're saying that you've read all these documents? And more than once? But all these have to be like top secret, confidential stuff, right? So why? My farm, my family, my family has a reading room just like this at our home. Ours is bigger, of course, not as dusty. Huh? Members of the Togami family have access to any variety of government-related documents. That includes foreign powers as well as domestic. How is that possible? I already told you there's not a secret. There, sorry, I already told you there's a secret council that controls the world from the shadows. <laughs> My family is a member of that council. <laughs> Biaku is Illuminati confirmed. And I have within me the bloodline that allow me to one day bend the world to my will. And I will possess three blue eyes white dragons, tear one apart, and then buy- Four blue eyes white dragons, tear one of those apart. And then I will buy industrial illusions, make an entire archetype to support the only three cards in existence. Um, Cry over the fact that those three cards were my ancient Egyptian girlfriend. And then at the very end of it all, I will make a base in outer space and then f use use the speed of descent into the earth, <laughs> onto the earth to create a portal to take me back in time or into heaven so that I can fight Yugi one more time. Or, you know, maybe also open up a dueling school. I don't know. Whichever yeah. happens first. Yeah, both, honestly. But to become such a ruler, I must know all levels of this world backwards and forwards. I will break heaven and earth to duel Yugi one more time. <laughs> Nate's just stunned. I can't. He does! Kaiba does that! He, I'm aware! He, he... Very aware! Still dumb. Yeah. So whenever I ha whenever I have time, I like to review whatever documents and materials that interests me. Like building a space base. Which is why I can proclaim without a doubt the materials gathered here are the real thing. This is beyond believing or not believing. Byakura is actually starting to scare me more than the actual mastermind. And what always interested me is... To me, the most were the cold case police investigation reports. Reading through those reports has always been a hobby of mine ever since I was a little boy. It's excellent mental exercise. I've solved more than a few of those cases just by reviewing the reports. And among all those reports, one of my most, one of my, one of my recent favorites is the Genocide Jack case. As he taught, Byakuya grabbed a specific file from the shelf. Right. This is the complete case file. Every single report surrounding Genocide Jack, the surrounding the Genocide Jack cases has been compiled in here. Hmm. Because there are so many, allow me to quickly summarize their main points next time. Next <gasps> time. Next time. Next time. Next time. Woo! I Woo! will transcend heaven and earth to duel you once more, Yugi. Make sure to like oh, and subscribe Mikado. for Mitch's problem with Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't. We don't talk about the flame swordsman in this house. <laughs> not, not in this house. This is a Neo's house, and you know it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. And we're back. Alright. So, so we fucked up. We did. <laughs> we fucked up. Um, but it's okay. Because I went to ancient Egypt. Oh my and, god. And, 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 I, and, I, and I kicked that little pharaoh's bitch ass. <laughs> yeah, in front of all the servants. Hey. In Egyptian heaven. And me. Mitch, they're gonna Somehow. forget. They're probably gonna forget context to this bit. No, they're not. It's gonna happen right after, like, like if I upload it on their together. Saturday. <laughs> no, I thought you were just gonna stitch these together. This isn't a full episode. This is just finishing this bit so that you don't have to like, like, 
Yeah. Uh, we get to this point. Oh, fair enough. I, I didn't know what you were going with. It's Anyways. just a long boy. It's a yeah, long it's boy. Long. Yeah. I synchro summon these bits. <laughs> I'm gonna synchro summon this video. <laughs> I used the first part as a tuner, and the other part was Celtic Guardian. <laughs> <laughs> And the other part was Flame Swordsman. <laughs> to begin, Yugi, there are two noticeable notable diff uh, characteristics fuck in every genocide Jack murder. The first characteristic is that every crime scene, the word bloodlust is written in the victim's own blood. And the second is that when the victims are murdered, their bodies are suspended in a certain way. Bloodless is written in blood and the victim's body is suspended. Exactly the same same as what happened to Chihiro. Save your surprise. The best part is yet to come. Hmm. For the second characteristic where the victims are suspended, the only ones who knew about that particular fact were members of the police and the other higher-ups. By all accounts, nobody in the media ever found out. I love your Seto Kaiba voice. <laughs> huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> this is Joey. <laughs> in other words, no one on the news, no one online, nobody knew about the aspect of each crime. Only key officials and the killer himself knew about this act of mounting the victim. Gross. Super gross. Super huh? Why incident. would you phrase it like that? It's really weird. It's really weird, you. It's really weird, you. Why would you <laughs> say it like that? Now, if you recall Chihiro's corpse, her body was most certainly mounted in this fashion. Face up, attack position. Oh God! <laughs> so and then they how they kill? Face <laughs> down into everything. <laughs> <Defense mode. laughs> so how the killer could have known about suspending the victim? That's right. Oh God! <laughs> that's the que That's the key question. That's the quiz question. <laughs> <laughs> that's the <good> question. <laughs> But in fact, the answer is quite simple, and I will reveal it with swords of revealing light. The culprit now I is... can't move. Oh, I fucked myself on that one. <laughs> the culprit isn't a copycat killer. It's the real genocide Jack. Yeah. That's right. There is the evidence that genocide Jack had hidden himself among the rest of us. The genocide Jack really is such a brutal fiendish, <laughs> fiendish killer really walking among all of us. Interesting. Hmm. Things are really starting to get interesting, aren't they? I never imagined a killer with such a reputation would ever become part of our little game. Now, don't you think it would be good for you to take a look at, <laughs> at what you've already seen? And what I've already seen? I would have I've already seen. I've seen it first because I love money and information and knowledge. Because all those things are like tied and together. If I can't get my true crime podcast, then I might as well read cold case files. Yes, live to my two viewers, Mokuba and me. You might just manage to. F I was gonna say. It's, it fer, ferret, 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 ferret. Really, like the animal? Okay. Yeah, like the animal. <laughs> you might just manage to ferret out a clue or two. Such ignorance. If you get down on your knees and beg, I might even show you myself. <laughs> Come on, doggy Where wheeler. Ha! Ah, shoot. There we go. That's the end of the episode. There we go. There that's, we go. It the was. End. That's the end. That hey, was yeah. the true ending. The Never true forget, ending. Joey. 
You're a you're a <laughs> you're a third rate duelist with a fourth rank deck. Head, I'm